Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book Before Happiness, a creation by Sean Aitchell. Before Happiness, 2013, is a unique self-help book that takes a different approach to achieving happiness and success. Rather than providing a straightforward path, it examines what prerequisites are necessary before we can attain these goals. The key lies in shifting our perspective on reality and altering our approach to life's obstacles, nothing short of a revolutionary change. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Sean Acker, a prominent figure in positive psychology, spent 12 years teaching and conducting research at Harvard. He is now the CEO of Good Think Inc., a consulting firm located in Cambridge, where he continues his research endeavors. In addition, Achor has authored two highly successful books, The Happiness Advantage and Big Potential, both of which have achieved New York Times best-selling status. With eight key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, this text is promoting an opportunity to learn how to become a positive genius. The key to happiness and success is not just luck, but a trait called positive genius. This trait allows people to make the most of any situation, even if they have disadvantages. Positive genius is not something you're born with, but a skill that anyone can acquire. It goes beyond positive thinking and can help you see the world in a better way. Key idea number one. Perception of possibility is key to achieving happiness and success. The key factor in achieving happiness and success is how we perceive them. Our perception of whether they are possible or not greatly impacts our motivation and willingness to utilize our internal resources, such as talent and intelligence. If we see our goals as attainable, we will be more motivated to try and use our resources effectively. However, perceiving obstacles as insurmountable leads to giving up and failing. Key idea number two. Perception of challenges is subjective and varies from person to person. The key message here is that our perceptions of reality are subjective and can be influenced by various factors such as fatigue, emotions, attitudes, and beliefs. While there may be an objective element to the challenges we face, our perception of their difficulty can vary. Therefore, we should be cautious in relying solely on our perceptions as they can be distorted and exaggerated, like the reflections in a funhouse mirror. Key idea number three, our perceptions of reality are not fixed and can be changed. By changing our perceptions, we can also change our actual reality. The text discusses the idea that we can change our perceptions of reality, and by doing so, we can change our reality itself. It explains how improving sleep and diet can provide extra energy and make tasks appear more manageable. This change in perception motivates us to pour more effort into achieving our goals, making them easier to accomplish. It emphasizes that tapping into the power of perception is about actively doing things to see our situation from a different perspective, not just relying on positive thinking. It mentions that there are other techniques that can help us cultivate a trait called positive genius. Key idea number four different maps of reality can be formed by our minds and certain ones can be more advantageous for us. The text explains that while there is an external reality, our minds create our own perception of it. Our brains actively piece together information to create a map of reality. However, our mental maps are selective and only include a small set of facts. This means that our brains can construct different but equally accurate maps of the same reality. The key message is that the maps we create can impact our success and happiness, and it's important to focus on empowering and positive aspects of reality. Key idea number five. In order to improve our understanding of reality, it is important to overcome our habit of perceiving the world in a single, familiar way. Stress can have positive effects on the brain, including improved memory, problem-solving, and social bonds. However, 
Most people view stress as entirely negative, which leads to increased stress. By focusing on the positive effects of stress, such as increased productivity, individuals can decrease physical symptoms of stress and improve their mental well-being. Key idea number six. The key point is that we can enhance our mental maps of reality by changing our perspective and paying attention to different details. The key point of this text is that perception and reality are not about viewing the world through a positive or negative lens. It is about opening oneself up to different possibilities and perspectives. By practicing skills such as viewing artwork from different angles or examining different aspects of one's job, we can improve our mental maps of reality. This exercise has been shown to enhance the ability to detect important details in various fields, including medicine. The result is multiple valid versions of the same reality. Key idea number seven. To create an optimal mental map, we need to identify our most important and valuable reality. The key message is to create a mental map of reality that is accurate, encouraging and empowering. Practice finding the most valuable reality by focusing on positive details and giving them more weight than negative ones. This exercise can help balance your perspective and lead to happiness and success. Key idea number eight. Discovering your most valuable reality is the first step towards finding happiness and success. Once you have identified what truly matters to you, you can then create a clear path to achieve your goals and aspirations. Research shows that our minds need about three positives to balance out each negative detail. Successful people have a ratio of 3.1 positive to negative thoughts. When the ratio drops to 2.1, people tend to languish, and at 1.1, they become depressed. Strengthening the ability to see positive details in the world is crucial for happiness and success. Once you have found your most valuable reality, you can chart your path to happiness and success. Define your destination by identifying specific activities and accomplishments that make you feel happy and successful. Write down your current resources and think about opportunities that can help you achieve your goals. The key is to perceive reality in a way that allows you to make the most of your resources and opportunities. In conclusion, the way we perceive situations, problems and challenges can vary, but some perspectives are more beneficial than others. By looking at things from different angles and focusing on positive aspects, we can improve our happiness and success. One actionable tip is to maintain a ratio of three positive details for every negative detail. Practice seeing the positives in people and situations to develop this skill and make it a habit. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on storyplanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.